Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. <clears throat> and here today is famous Jimmy from the online classes. Famous? Yeah, um, he's going to assist us in a, in a video today. What to do if a panel has fallen off? How do you reattach it, Jimmy? Well, that's why I'm here. So today's video, you're going to need uh, a tack hammer. Yes. Preferably a professional tack hammer. Yeah. Like so. And you're going to need a pair of side cutters, like so. Okay. And you're going to need a piece of scrap fabric. Why? And you're going to need some brads. Okay. A brad is a small-headed nail, right, Jimmy? Yeah. The first thing, we have brads that are two inches long. I'm going to give this a shot. I'm going to try to get the first one in here, but okay. people might be surprised that this is put through the front of the panel uh, in order to get that yeah, all well, in there. Yeah, I mean, you don't want to show anything, yeah. but yes, I'm interested. And I know that the Jimmy had already cleaned up one of these arms. This one's clean, but this, there's brads that were stuck, old brads, that yeah. I already threw away, but we have one here. Why don't you hold that up to show It's kind of a it's, smaller one. But yeah, it's less than what I have. It's about an inch and a half, and it's all rusted out. Mm -hmm. and. So just to let you know, Jimmy, these panels that were put on here, the, this was a, a, a redesigned wing chair. This is an old wing chair. Okay. So what they originally had on this was would be pulled over, and they would have a pleats coming into one small area and a button here. Big button. And the reason I bring it up is because I think <clears throat> part of the reason these fell off is because they don't, this padding here, and they cut their panel a little bit over where the padding is, so the panel doesn't nestle in there. So this is what you want, is, is to have it nestled. So they would have been better off maybe uh, trimming that panel down so that it nestled better. So it's just kind of floating out there, and I think that's why they fell off. Okay. So what I'm going to do, the very important on this, if you guys have a panel that's fallen off at home, you want to make sure that you get these brads. Again, a brad is a small head attack, like a, I'm sorry, nail, and very important. All these nails uh, in the process there, uh, they have oil residue on them, Jimmy. So what you want to do is make sure that you slide this through a scrap piece of fabric at least twice. Okay. Okay, and then what you want to do is make sure you can't be hammering up here. You need to make sure you're positioned properly when you're doing this. And the, the best way to do is probably to sit down here. And I'm going to try to, you would be right here, but I'm going to try to just for the camera's okay. sake, move off to the side. Mm -hmm. And then on this particular fabric, Jimmy, you have a loose thread in here, a loose, put it this way, it's looser than out here and definitely in here. So you may want to try to focus, if you can, your, your brads in that area. Okay. Okay, that's the loose area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on there. I'm going to try to get, maybe get it positioned and maybe get a, a one right in the middle here. Mm -hmm. Okay, and let's see how this two inch uh, brad goes through. And I can tell you right now that that two inch brad may be too long. Mm -hmm. So the reason I always have longer brads in my shop, mm -hmm. now when we get up to here, the two inch brad might be, might be what we need okay. because, because of the padding. Okay. okay so you, so you, you do need different lengths you of will. brads on e one panel sometimes, okay. which is interesting. Yeah, because I, so I, I would have kind of said if you're going to stick with one, that would have been it. Before I attempt to put this all the way in, I have a feeling it's going to bend on me. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to cut another one. I'm going to, and notice how I cut you guys. I'm going to hold that up to the camera. I cut at an angle like that. I'm, I'm trying to make the point, right? Okay. So I'm going to cut this down to about, I don't know, an, an inch and a quarter. Let's see if that works. Careful when you do this, guys. You don't want to get that caught. Try to do that away from your eyes. Okay. Okay, let's try another one, maybe right in this area. Notice how I'm lining up my panel, and Jimmy, I'm going to let you try this in a minute. Okay. See how that wanted to turn on me, and I'm adjusting now, right? Gee, I didn't like the way that went in, Jimmy. I'm going to take that back out again, okay? Because that went in at an angle, so it must have hit another tack in there. Ah, okay. So be patient with this process because you may be faced with that. You may be faced with hitting another. You got to know where you're that. hitting. Let's try another area. You want it to go into. You want it to go straight in. Don't want it to bend. Okay, that's better. And then I'm going to go all the way. That fit out nicely. You see how it didn't go all the way through. Okay. So what you're going to do is take a regulator. If you don't have a regulator at home, you guys, 
Uh, what would work as a home? What would work as a needle? If you have a, uh, a really sharp needle at home, regulators are the best thing because they're really good pointed. Yeah, and they they're kind of roundish. If, if you don't have this, you might want to look uh, for an awl. A very sharp awl. Very, yeah, it has to be. You know, it has again, to be sharp. Razor -like, like. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick in another area. Look, I'm not going in here. I'm going into this area, this particular fabric. All fabrics different, right? Because mm -hmm. that's the loose, and I'm trying to go. Ah. Did you hear that pop? Yeah. I don't know if the camera, if they heard it on the camera, but look at that. It nice. disappears. Okay. The pop is is good okay. because that means that the thread didn't break. It means okay. that the thread separated around the pot. That's a Came good sound. Up. Okay. I want to yeah. see how you do on this, Jimmy. I, I'm so going to try really to help you out by trying to get this one in. The danger here is if that bed's really close to the panel, mm -hmm. you've got a problem. Now, I want you to try to get that regulated out, and I want you to try to dress up the top a little bit. See how you do, okay? Okay. Jimmy, I don't know if you could work off to the side a little bit or sit down. No, I don't know. For, the, for our home viewers, some of who are very beginners, they want to know what you're doing. It, you can't rip that fabric. You got to try to show people how to be careful with it, right? Trying, yeah. Are you struggling there? Well, I'm trying to be delicate at the same time be forceful, and yet it's not really... So what we're doing also in this YouTube video is, is highlighting Jimmy as a, as a student. He's, he does the online classes with me. And oftentimes I don't want to, I, I have to try to resist jumping in. I, I want Jimmy to try to, there he goes. Did you hear the pop? Yes. And but also it, it, the pop, right? That's a good thing. Yes, a little, a little bit of a process with that one. You've yeah. got to be careful again with regard to how the fabric is, and especially right. now, I mean, it's easy when you say you have a pattern to work with the patent to do right. the, the needles. No, nope, hold on, Jimmy. You forgot one step. You need to run that, that nail through a, another scrap piece of fabric before you put it in, right? Oh, okay, right. Sorry. And I want you to see if you show if you could see some oil residue after you do that. I'm not sure if we have white. You know, it's kinda hard to see with the that color, but trust me there's oil residue on that. There you go. That's fine. Now you're gonna try. You're gonna try the full length of the brad up near the top. You can go. Up <coughs> yeah, I'm thinking like right here. Yeah, give that a shot. See how that goes in. Put your fingers, man. I love that pop. Do you? I love that pop. So, so feel along that top edge to see where you might need more, yeah? Oh yeah, for sure. You want to be able to get to make sure you get that head in you know, all the way. You don't definitely don't want it to be, you know, catching on the right. fabric on the outside. Ah, you forgot something. Oh yeah. Thank you, master. <laughs> I may go now. That's important, especially if you're doing a, if people have a white <laughs> velvet panel that's popped Oh up. my God, please, don't, so even, you're, you're, don't even joke about that. <laughs> what's the, what's all those stains? Oh, that's part of the fabric. <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't uh, hold water though, does it? Uh, well, it might for maybe a day. Yeah. Again, if you're feeling that's too long, you can cut that bread down, people. Good job, 
Jimmy. Thank you. Now, how are you feeling that that's going on there? You know, is it, is it tight? And see what well, you I know you could you could do that. You can even after the the brads. I know the nail through. head is not in all the way. So, right. with that said, is it better to get the nail in all the way with with no head showing, and to try to do that technique you mentioned, or is it better to do like leave a little bit of the head out and do? Ideally, both? you'd want the the brad to go in all the distance you want it to because after it pops and you try to hammer it in mm -hmm. you may cause damage to the fabric oh, okay so ideally but uh, however even sometimes you you need to do it but you do it gently when okay you do it. Yeah. okay yeah so in that case would you use them uh, you wouldn't use a mallet no uh, you, you know sometimes your mallet's your best friend for that type of stuff because you get it you get it's a good idea because it's not metal, mm -hmm. and you get a wider surface that you're hitting in. I like the way you're thinking. Okay, yeah, I'm, sure. just, I'm just making sure you don't want to So let me it. just feel this. Yeah, I might, might need one right at the top there, right there. Okay. And then maybe one over here, and then maybe one down or two down below. And I think you're good. Did you say over here, Kevin? Yep. Perfect. Jimmy, I am impressed at your work. I'll tell you Thank what you. I'm impressed with. I was waiting for the t for the brad to bend, right? It, it's kind of a bummer, you guys, when you're right near the end of your hammering and your brad bends, and you really do need to dig it back out. Yes. Oftentimes, I notice on one of them, you even recovered. You, you, you pulled the, t you banged the tack, the brad straight, and it went in. Uh, I'm very impressed with your hammering skills. Thank you. And you're welcome. So um, I think... Uh, I think that that will do it on this one, and I think that hopefully we provided some good tips, and we'll see you next time.